Hello, Jewel City and all of our friends that tune in every day. We're so thankful for you. Uh, we've just received news in the last couple days that our president, uh, President Donald Trump, has asked us to go another 30 days. Somebody say, wow, that's a long time. I kind of feel even myself some anxiety, really not because of my problems, but all the different messages that I've been getting from everyone. And I want to encourage you today that first of all, I'm thankful for our president. I'm thankful for his decision. And I would encourage us to pray for him, whether we voted, whether you voted for him, whether I voted for him or not. We respect the office and there's a tremendous amount of pressure on him uh, and all of his administration. The anxiety level can become overwhelming. So this book that I've been sharing with you, which is titled Armed and Dangerous, and it's, it's just really a quick reference. All the scriptures, for example, anxiety, you just alphabetical order, you go and it just, it just lifts every scripture. So I wanna encourage you today that 30 days seems like a long time. We've already been on lockdown uh, pretty much for two weeks, but this too will pass. And we are armed with the word of God and we are dangerous with the spirit of the Lord. So come on, get your chin up, get your smile on. I had to cheer myself up this morning. And I wanna share this word out of 1 Peter 5, verses six and seven. Humble yourselves, therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. This morning I called a staff meeting and we sat six to eight feet apart in a circle. And I could sense the anxiety, but then I can sense when we begin to humble ourselves, when I called on Pastor Kerry to lead us in prayer, she broke down and just began to weep, praying for you, for America, that we would humble ourselves, that we would find ourselves on our knees, and I'll tell you, just in those moments this morning, I could feel the reassurance of the Spirit of God saying, you're going to be all right. So again, humble yourselves. Don't try to be prideful. Don't try to be hard and say, well, I'm going to make it. I don't need no help. Yes, you do. We all need help. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. Tell God how you're feeling anxiety. Tell God how you're feeling frustrated. God knows anyway, but he'd love to hear it from you. That he may exalt you in due time. I want to sow that word, those two words, due time into your life. It's coming. Beauty from ashes. Weeping may last for the night, but joy will come in the morning. For he careth for you. You are on God's mind. You are the apple of God's eye. God's got this, do you hear me? So this morning also, I wanna read this to you out of Jeremiah chapter 17, verse seven. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. You keep doing the right thing. You keep trusting God. You keep believing. Faith sees the future, and I promise you in due time, God will lift you up. I love you. Armed and dangerous, get online and order one. Bring it into your house. Begin to read any topic that you can think of. It's in the Word of God. Listen, Jewel City, 
I want you to check on each other. Please, we've been calling as a staff, but our elderly, don't go out. Don't go to the store, call me. Send us a message. Call someone that sits on a pew with you every week. Let them go out. We want to help you. We want you to be safe. We love you. Don't forget, you've got to like and share and follow. I had to read that because I'm so ignorant when it comes to social media. But one thing I'm not ignorant about is the love of the Lord. And I love Him and I love His people. We love you. God bless you. One other quick thought. Sunday morning's live stream, so many people are trying to view at the same time. Again, I don't know everything about Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Skitter, and everything else. So if it's overwhelmed and it comes down to where you can't view it, wait an hour, go back on YouTube and watch it. We want to give you an opportunity to ask Jesus Christ into your life. I don't know your heart. Honestly, I know my heart. So maybe you're not ready. If death was to knock at your door, if the Lord was to return, which He will, we don't know when, but we want you to be right with God. So maybe through all this that's going on, maybe God's been speaking to your heart. Maybe you have questions. Maybe you need to ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins. I'm a sinner. We're all sinners in need of a Savior. And I thank God that 36 years ago, I asked Christ into my life. How about you? Today, if the Lord is speaking to your heart, pray this prayer and mean it. Lord Jesus, today I acknowledge that I am a sinner, that I have fallen short of your glory, that I've made mistakes time and time again. And Lord, today I ask you to forgive me. And Lord, I repent turning from my old lifestyle to follow you. Wow, if you prayed that prayer, I want to welcome you to the family of God. Pick up a Bible, get in the book of John, begin to read. Send us a message here to church. We'll try to encourage you. And then when all this is open, you can get in a church somewhere that will love you and help you grow. God bless you. We love you. Have a great day.